This is possibly the worst joke ever told, the dumbest joke ever. But it has kind of a point to it. So there's this guy going to build a shed. And he does his design, computer-aided drafting, comes to the determination that he needs 999 bricks. So he calls the brick company up and says, hello. I said, hello. I would like to buy 999 bricks. And they say, excellent, we sell them in lots of 100. You'll only have one brick left over. And he says, I'm sorry, I only want 999 bricks. I don't need 1,000 bricks. Can you give me a rebate on that extra brick? They say, I'm sorry, sir, no, we sell them in lots of 100. No exceptions to the rule. So he hangs up in a huff and calls Aikney Brick and says, hello, Aikney Brick. Hello, sir. I want to buy 999 bricks. And the gentleman says, well, that's excellent. We sell them in lots of 1,000. You'll only have one brick left over. And the gentleman says, I'm sorry, I only need 999 bricks. Can you sell, them to, can you sell me 999 bricks in a lot? They say, I'm sorry, sir, we have made an exception to the rule in times past of lots of 100, but 999 would not be the right size for a lot. And the man says, well, can you sell me three lots of 333 each? And they check with the manager and they come back to him and say, sorry, sir, it's lots of 1,000. Lots of 100 was the only exception to the rule. No exceptions to the rule, sir. I'm sorry, we can only sell you 1,000 bricks. Well, could I possibly get a rebate on the extra brick, just not charge me for it? Sell me a, you know, a lot of 1,000 bricks, but not charge me for that extra brick. And they said, how can we sell you 1,000 bricks and not charge you the full price? Uh, and he says, well, couldn't you make, you know, some combination, give me a rebate. And they say, I'm sorry, sir, no exception to the rule. And they come to an impasse, and the gentleman says, well, what am I going to do? He buys a lot of 1,000 bricks and has it delivered. So the day arrives, here come the bricks, he makes up the mortar, he builds a little shed, puts a roof on and everything. And he looked at the shed, and he is very pleased. He looks at the shed, and he's very pleased, and he says, this is a good shed. And he's, he's angry, though. He's got an extra brick, and he's looking at this extra brick. And he says, what am I going to do? Why am I stuck with this extra brick? And he's so angry, he grabs the brick, throws it up in the air as hard as he could. Well, if you didn't see it told from that point of view, maybe if I tell it a little different way, it'll be clearer. There's this hostess on a plane. And she's going down the hall, down the aisle, uh, establishing order and enforcing rules. And she comes to the first, first row, and there's a gentleman in the row with a dog. And she says to the gentleman, I'm sorry, sir, there's no dogs allowed on the plane. Re Regulation 32A, for, uh, part 12. And he says, I'm sorry, I, I bought an extra ticket for this dog. And the lady says, there's no exceptions to that rule. How did you get a ticket? He says, I don't know. How do they sell me a ticket? She says, I'm sorry, Regulation 32, Section A, uh, Lot 12, no, lots, no dogs allowed on the plane. We're going have to have to do something about this. And the gentleman says, but Fifi is my friend. Fifi's like a person to me. Can't we just come to some accommodation? And the hostess says, yes, we can. And grabs the dog by the collar, opens the door, throws the dog at the door, shuts the door. And moves on down the aisle and enforcing the rules. She comes to a lady with a crying baby. And uh, the lady says, she says to the lady, I'm sorry, ma'am, no crying babies allowed on the plane. And she says, well, what can I do? I've done everything I know how to, to make him stop being crying. And the hostess says, I'm sorry, no exception to the rule, the baby's going to have to stop crying. And the mother says, well, I gave him, you know, his his meal, I, I fed him, I, I put him down for his nap, I burped him, uh, what do you want me to do? And, and the lady says, you're going to have to make the top baby stop crying, or we're going to have to put that baby off the plane. And the lady says, off the plane? But it's a baby! And the hostess says, I'm sorry, no exceptions to the rule. Well, if I change his diaper and maybe show him a video, maybe he'll stop crying. And the hostess says, really? Do you think that'll stop him crying? And the lady says, well, truthfully, no. It's He has a clean diaper. He's just fussy today. And the hostess says, well, I'm sorry. Grabs the baby, opens the door, throws the baby out the door, and shuts the door. No exception to the rule. Moves on down the plane. On down the aisle. Comes to the second to last row. There's a gentleman there smoking a cigar. And he, she says, I'm sorry, sir, no smoking on the plane. And the gentleman says, well, it's, it's not a cigarette, it's a cigar. 
And she says, the sign doesn't say no cigarettes on the plane. It says no smoking. And the gentleman says, well, I just bought this cigar for a lot. It was an expensive cigar. I bought it in Los Angeles. I think it's Cuban. If I land in New York with this cigar, I'll be in a lot of trouble. And all I really want to do is just finish my cigar. Can I please finish my cigar? And the hostess says, I'm sorry, sir. No exceptions to the rule. Snatches a cigar from his lips, opens the door, throws it out the door, and slows, slams the door. Well, about two minutes later, somebody looks out at the end of the wing. And they say, look out there, people. Look what's on the end of the wing. There's a dog on the end of the wing. And you know what he has in his mouth? And everybody looks. It was a brick. <laughs>